Well I expect a lot of you know what this is. It's an old uh, milk crate which they uh, used to put into uh, milk floats and deliver the milk bottles in. Um, and it's I've put it on this channel today, Clifford's Dairies, that's a Thornbury depot which no longer exists. Um, because we've got something different today, I've actually got an electric milk float turning up at the farm. Which is quite a, something a bit different. Um, used to having the cows milked and in the collecting yard, I've just finished milking. But uh, this evening an electric milk float is just popping by, a vintage one from 1970 I think it is, or 71. I'm just waiting for it now. We'll have a little chat about it when it turns up. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at this. Daisy has come up the drive. Oh, it's fantastic. That is brilliant. Welcome Daisy to New House Farm. <laughs> Look at this. A genuine milk float from 1970, I'm not sure what year, 70, 72 or something. We'll have a chat about it in a minute. Okay, we've got Daisy in the yard now and we've got the owner here. Yeah, well, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Ian, Ian Walker. And, and tell me about this milk float. How on <laughs> earth did you end up owning a milk float? Well, that's, my wife has uh, asked the same question as well, actually. But uh, <laughs> it's one of those things I've always quite fancied, you know, a bit of nostalgia. I really believe in the uh, in the English milkman. So this is one my my bit of giving back to that process, really. Brilliant. So how did you find the milk float? Are well, they was, common? Uh, no, <laughs> absolutely not. I saw this one on eBay. I was working yeah. away in in China, in fact, yeah. surfing the internet at night, and I thought, oh, there's one. It was in Birmingham. It was on a scrap metal wow. uh, dealer, and I thought, yeah, why not? We'll give it a go. So it was actually going to be scrapped then, was it? Well, I, I, You've saved it, a bit of heritage, yes, a bit of English heritage, <laughs> isn't it? A milk float. I've saved it from doom, yes. Yeah. So what did you do with it once you got it? I mean, so, was it drivable when you picked no, it up? No, no, not at all. The uh, the batteries were knackered. Yeah. The, the front end here, this centre steering uh, element here, was all pushed up through into the ceiling almost. Wow. The front plastic uh, of the cab was all broken. Um, so I took it to a guy who's not far away from yeah. us here in Albury. <clears throat> and he did a lot of the uh, the welding, he did all the electrics, yeah. did all the bodywork, and he's done a fantastic job. Yeah, he's done four, a brilliant four job. Weeks it's and, lovely. Uh, it just puts a smile on people's faces. Mm. So, so what's your intention to do with it now you've got it? Because you bought a milk float, and you've got to think, well, are you going to become a milkman? Or are you going to... No, no, I don't think the early mornings would do, no. would, would, uh, would do me well. But uh, I'm going to use it for the Thornbury Carnival, which brilliant. is tomorrow. Um, and hopefully just, just use it for other sort of charitable causes where... People need to put smiles on their faces. Yeah. Kids charities, stuff like that. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah, hopefully we can just put something back to the community. Can we have a guided tour then? Of course you show, can. Show me your milk float. <laughs> I'll give you a quick spin. All right, give us a quick spin right. then. This is the, uh, this is the oh, gear stick. Right, what's that then? Oh, sorry. Uh, that's, that's, that's the uh, gear stick. Either it's forward or reverse. Yeah. And then so the, has it got many, is it, how many forward gears has it got? Just one. Just one. Yeah. And it and kind of, it kind of uh, there's some electrical mechanism right. that gives it the power it needs to get up to speed. What's the top speed? Mm, downhill about 15. Uphill, well, you could you could walk faster. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I bet going downhill at 15, that feels fast oh, enough in the milk float. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, handbrake. Handbrake off. Right. How do you start it then? It's so not got a key, is it? No. So, Ooh. so you've got... Uh, accelerator and brake, but they're yeah. around the wrong way for some right. reason, not sure. Oh, okay. So you've got the accelerator there, and, and so I'm just going to get that going. It's not very smooth. But it's right, it's just, just a lift off. So. Right. Wow, it's pretty nifty, isn't it? Not bad. I like it. And we've also got a little bit of sound to it. Oh. <laughs> you got to have a cow moving on you. <laughs> oh, Daisy. So there we are. So where are the batteries kept then? So some of the batteries are under the seat. Batteries are under yeah. the seat. And yeah. some of the other batteries are underneath the, uh, the bed there. Oh, right. the oh, yeah. So that's it. So here we are. If you lift that lid, here's the batteries. That's You say that's half the that's batteries? about half of them, yeah. How many batteries are one, two, three, yeah. six, seven? What's that? Fifteen batteries in there, is it? Yeah, six, and that's half fifteen of them. there. Are they just normal twelve volt car batteries? No, it's, it's thirty eight volts altogether. I is believe. it? Yeah, which is a strange number, but it's what they seem to be. And there's another load of batteries in that box hanging on wow. the chassis. And, and how long will they last when you charge them? It's or a very good you know? question. You it, haven't found it, out yet. It got me about six miles this morning. Right. But it was getting slow. But then Ooh. it's all uphill. Six miles isn't far, is it? No. 
I suppose the technology is, is quite old, isn't it? It's not like a modern no. electric car where you can go 150 miles away. That would be quite nice. But God, you don't want to run out, do you? Because he's got to push this thing. It's going to take a bit of pushing, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, it's the, the, uh, what is that? Oh, it's a battery charger, isn't it? On the top is the battery charger because it'll only go about six or seven miles right. between battery charges. So okay. That's the proper battery charger for the milk float, is it? Yeah, it's, um, it's not been restored yet. <laughs> no. We'll have a little walk around it. It's tidy, isn't it? So in the old days, the old guy would put his milk crates on the back and drive up and down and uh, stop and deliver milk. I'm trying to find some old milk churns as well to give it a bit of authenticity. Milk churns or milk? No, the milk churns, you know, the big oh, aluminium right, steel yeah. ones. Yeah. Incredibly expensive. Yeah. So um, I might have to wait for those, get those in instalments. Right, that's brilliant. Well, what I'm going to do is hopefully I'm going to watch the carnival tomorrow. You come to borrow some bales, haven't you, for the I carnival? Have. Yes, indeed. I'm going to actually be at the carnival with my lad. One of my lads is walking in the carnival, but I'm going to be watching on the sideline. So what I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm going to edit in your little drive up the high street at the carnival. Perfect. Be nice, wouldn't it? Well, you see some additions by tomorrow. We'll have uh, something on the front. We'll hopefully have some udders on the bottom. Udders here. on the bottom. Uh, and maybe even a tail coming up. Oh mate, like you are one. bringing joy to my day. <laughs> this is fantastic. Thanks very much. Well, All we'll right. sit, we'll recap on Saturday and have a look at what it's like then. There we go. We've got the, we've got the milk crate on now. We just need to load up the bales. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just film you going off then and we'll see you in the carnival tomorrow then. You've got 10 golden rules. Just notice that. Clean uniforms must be worn. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? It's all the rules of, of being a milkman. No smoking on the rounds. <sighs> ten simple rules. These ten simple rules will improve the image we give to our customers. Yes, Fantastic. Sir. <laughs> See you tomorrow. You betcha. Oh, hi, Matt. Look at this. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Goodbye, Daisy. See you tomorrow. What do you think of that then, Matt? Very good. Brilliant, isn't it? So here yeah, I've just nipped out from the farm um, and I've just, just seen Daisy coming up the road and it really is slow. Look at this speed here. Crikey, I could walk faster than that. But isn't it great to see a little old milk float back on the road like that rather than some modern vehicle? Being overtaken by the other cars. Slow down so it's not blow when you can. <laughs> Good old Daisy. Here we go. So Whoa. <laughs> Here's the milk float. Finally at the end. The milk float that came to the farm. That's the milk float came to the farm yesterday, boys. Here he is. Daisy. Friday. Hey, Daisy the milk float. And I saw a straw barrel on the back there, look. Fantastic. Got an udder on the back. So there we go, the milk float made it. Oh my goodness me. And there's a tractor. And bringing out the rear some tractors. Always good. That's a nice shiny car.